We all know the famous Christmas tune, All I Want for Christmas, is a copyright infringement, John. <laughs> so Mariah Carey being sued for $20 million over All I Want for Christmas is You. So the songwriter Andy Stone claims he co-wrote song with the same name and did not give permission for it to be used. Now, just from reading this article, this seems a bit of a tenuous claim, but I'll let our viewers decide. Uh, so Stone claims that Mariah Carey and her collaborators knowingly, willfully and intentionally engaged in a campaign to infringe Stone's copyright for the song. Now, that is a, that is a bold claim, um, but apparently the songs have different lyrics and very different melodies. Yeah. So I don't know what his claim is based on there, other than perhaps the name. I mean, this is a problem that is rife within the music industry. A lot of people write similar melodies or they write similar chord sequences or even um, you know, song matter, song matters, but that is the nature of the art form. Some people have parallel thinking and there's only so many chords that sound good together. There are only so many melodies that sound good. So there is gonna be overlap, but apparently these two songs don't even have the same lyrics or melodies. So he sounds like he's trying it on, Andrew. Oh, he hasn't got a case at all. There's no copyright on song titles any more than there is on film titles or book titles or anything like that. And this is absurd. I mean, you know, I can get it. That, you know, right, because your next book's called War and Peace, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. And I'm using Tolstoy as a, uh, as a pseudonym. <laughs> I hope that's all right. Um, I'll, I'll shift a few copies that way. Um, but this, I mean, it, it is absolute nonsense. I mean, sometimes you, you even have sort of, like you say, in music, uh, sometimes you accidentally hit on something that someone else has done. Absolutely. Yeah. And you've, you know, you had, um, do you remember the Robin Thicke case where the, Mer uh, the Marvin Gaye uh, estate sued Robin Thicke over the song Blurred Lines, even though the songs sound completely dissimilar? Mm. There's no, there's no similarity at all. That was absolutely absurd. It made millions. Uh, oh, there was the Marvin Gaye's estate won that one. Yeah, they won it. Mm. Um, because they claimed that it was similar to an old Marvin Gaye song, and it, it absolutely wasn't. And um, similarly, you've had, there was the George Harrison one, My Sweet Lord. My Sweet there was, Lord, which was, was Sweet he, Symphony. He's so fine. He's so fine. There was uh, Tom, yeah. Tom Petty and Sam Smith. And actually, you know, you listen to the Sam Smith song, uh, and it is pretty much the same as the Tom Petty song. It's just, a, it's just slower. Um, but I don't, and he won that case as well. I think there was a, a settlement, there was an agreement. Um, but I think you're right. Sometimes it can be accidental. Sometimes it can be plagiarism. Absolutely. But titles... No, I, in fact, I, do you know what? Just to spite him, I'm going to release a single called <laughs> All I Want For Christmas Is You. Under which band name? What are we going for? I think we're going Dark with Men to Men. I like oh, Men okay. to Men, actually. I, I, I think so. Until we transition, I think that's a good working title. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And, and um, look, it's, it is a, an issue in creativity. I call it parallel thinking. You mm. get it yeah, yeah, in the yeah. comedy circuit where, let, let's just, as an, an example, 10 years ago when Satnav came out, uh, most comics, every comic thought they were the one that had this idea that what happens if the sat-nav talks back to you? Yeah, and yeah, has a course. mind of its own. It's an obvious joke. And so, you know, you're out there, you do it, and then someone's like, wait a minute, no, that, that's my material. It's like, no, no, it's just what it is is not a very original idea, yeah. which everyone's having a go at. Uh, the other one that I've heard constantly, I've heard some really big-name comedians doing the gag about when you go on to the loo on the uh, the train and then the doors open slowly. It's like a you're, prize. You're revealed uh, like a prize. Yeah, yeah. A number yeah. of comedians I've seen doing that on their specials. Yeah, and it won't be it won't be copying it will just be like exactly what you say parallel thinking sometimes there have been cases where people have quite clearly lifted the whole phraseology and the beats of a, mm. of a, of a routine it happened with a, the australian version of britain's got talent i believe uh, where he literally just ripped off uh, a, a comedian's and it was a british comedian i think he thought he'd get away with it, it. happened with a friend of mine who complained about this and then he got taken to court for defaming the guy who stole his joke right that was a whole thing i won't say names but he knows wow. who he is yeah depp heard eat your heart out yeah